Welcome back to LA Noir, everybody. It's time for the white shoe slaying. Does someone get slayed by a white shoe? Probably not. It's probably another copycat. Not gonna lie. Seems like we're on the right track for a copycat. Oh, she absolutely bladded. Well, that's terrible. I'm sure nothing morning, but wholesome things happen. And what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. Uh huh. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Oh, another one! Was this the lady we just saw? Snipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Mm. Yes, we've been receiving letters really nice from a murderer. It reminds me of the Zodiac. Have you ever seen the film The Zodiac? A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Ah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. Wow. It's him, the cop in the newspaper. Just imagine if it turns out that all of Green, the people that we've sent away California. are wrong. Yeah. want to stop. Oh, welcome to England, Phelps. This is what we live in. It's disgusting. Um, yes. It's disgusting, but it's home. Breathe, <laughs> breathe, damn it! Yes, we're back to driving like a madman. And now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. No, but all these arrests and records didn't get around the place. You know what I'm turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows can make it the man. But you can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make first things. We're going! We got a side case to do! Excuse me, don't no, don't get in my way! So, we're on another murder case. The body isn't going anywhere. Everyone just relax. Loving the reflections. Oh, oh, oh. I, I panicked. I panicked. I didn't know what turn it was. Bank job. What's the situation? Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold-blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. All right, what do you right. mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guards, and went straight down the stairs. Christ knows who they're working for, but whatever's in that vault, they want it bad. Did we not go to the trunk where the shotguns are? Man! I wish we'd gone to the trunk where the shotguns are. Ha! Ha! Are you, are you, are you? He's a... Bow! Oh, God, I love this. Push the building! Get it to cover! That hurts! My name's Paul Phelps and I'm the fucking Terminator! I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Excuse me a minute, I need to collect something. Anything. A gun? A gun. Yes. Use the elevator and investigate the vault. Excuse me? There's a story? There's an investigation to be had in the bank. Well, the dead body can wait. Block the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. All right, I'll wait here. Of course you will. You haven't got Don't a... Don't give them a chance to regroup. They haven't got an automatic... Wish me luck. Machine gun? I don't know what it is. I'm in England. We, we know how to use knives. Butter, steak. Illegal. <laughs> Bodies upstairs are dead. That leaves you, pal. Hey. 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 
No one. Holy shit! I can tell you right now, um, it's loud. It's loud and that scared the crap out of me. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tall Phelps! You and me! A man with a gun! Give it up, chump! I know you're there! Chump! Chump! Show you a chump! In the afterlife! Uh where the where where? Where? Oh, he was behind the That's table. It. That's all of them. I love that. His facial expressions are like, I've killed several again. Oh, God. More therapy that we don't have in the 1940s. Oh, wait, that psychiatrist. Car 11K. Shots fired. Suspects are down. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. Seventh and Olive. Notify coroner. At Detective Headquarters. Roger on your ambulance, 11K. All units, code 4 on the 211 at Bank of America. Code 4. An ambulance? M. What singular? I just off 20 people. And somehow I'm going to be disgusted at one... Well, I guess the body we're just about to go and see is probably gonna be mutilated. It's fine. It's not fine. What is wrong with people? Why, why do the murder? I don't understand. I quite literally, in real life, do not understand. I forgot I have a siren. I've been, you know what, it's annoying. <laughs> it's very loud in my headphones. I can't be bothered with that noise for five minutes. I'd rather just skillfully avoid people with my car. Skillfully, by me, which I mean, either get lucky or crash in a big way. Don't do another side mission. This body's getting rained on. It'll wash all the evidence away. Okay. I should have gotten uh, Finbar to drive us there. I wonder if we'll ever mention his name again. Ah, fuck! See? Skill. Hilarious. <laughs> All right, all right. The the flag's in the middle of the road. Lead us up. Oh, oh, the guy there will lead us up. Remember to listen, Rocky. I'm stealing myself for what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body, Carter. Get used to seeing it. Hear the gig when you're working homicide cells. I just killed 20 people, dude. Told you. But then again, as I said. Body's gonna be mutilated. It's different. Shooting someone in the head's flat. It's not really. It's terrible. It pro I, I couldn't do it. Don't wanna. Don't understand how people can. Anyway, grab some ball spells. Terrible. <laughs> Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Love you, coach. Scene is secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. I'm gonna this looks awfully familiar. I never. Oh. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And, and the it body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. She's clothed. Come over the head, then strangle and mutilate. That's no different. message with this one. At least she was left clothed. Hmm. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. All, all right. Okay, so we got strangulation again. But this time... Nothing there. Uh, hold on. We got a, a thing. 
Yeah. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Yes, it kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. Does she have a sore thumb? Do you have any missing jewelry? No? No? Never the same, are they? Th this, this is actually quite different, yeah? She's wearing clothes. I'm not worried about you two being upset with the dead lady boob. How weird is it? Um, a bot. It, no, no, nothing on the. Okay. okay what we got over here? Hey, wait a minute. Money. Circumstantial. Put it in your pocket. Circumstantial doesn't belong to anyone, so it can belong to me. What? Shoe prints that don't really no sit in the ground. Marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Boot size eight? Maybe. Listen to that music, everybody. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Well, there was a car there, but there was also a guy kind of skulking a boot. Why is the phone on? That it? Music's gone. Phone's on. Right. We'll do the phone business. God, is it bogged? How wet is it? Hello? Who? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. Who's going to use the Barton, phone? Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. What? Suspicious person. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Awful hobo? I, I don't assume that uh, she's uh, yet sure. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Well, if he's that man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Nailed Anything it. I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. A helpful NPC. What is this world? And she told the truth and had one question. Odd. Hello. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. You can still never remember his badge number, even though, you know, I've heard it. I help, detective? Many times. I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks, ma'am. That place can wait, because we're going to go in the order of the locations on the thingamabob. Notebook. <laughs> thingamabob. Good one. Um. So in the last video, I missed a bunch of questions, but I still got a five star, so I'd say that was a win. Yes, Superior Laundry Services. Let us a go. Oh, it's me, Dr. <laughs> okay. No message. Excuse me? There was what? no message. What? Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on it. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying. Right? right. Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others, 
There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Ah! Nailed it. <clears throat> <laughs> Why did I assume that Rusty was driving? Oh, God. Everyone's got a gun. I think I just killed that lady. I think a lady just died in that car. That, that's rather unfortunate. So the hobo camp is there, which is down the street, which is close. That's there. Where's this damn... Oh, rusty, get out. At least the rain stopped. You can change back in. I may have. She doesn't look very well. You can drive. No, no. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> gonna drag the woman out and be like hold on now i want to make sure that I, uh christ rusty uh i want to go no i don't want, ah god is all going fucking pete tong um that are you going there i don't know let's see where he goes if he goes to the laundry laundry services it's fine kgb l20 century unit the citizen reports a man with a gun on grand between fourth and fifth Unit he did it. 11K, go ahead. 11K, citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Would be robber? Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. He Wait, shot in the chest, happened? dude. Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Up! Uh is that him? Is that him? You didn't say it! Okay, this could be a completely separate issue. Pursue the robbery suspects. Rusty, get out of the car! Shoot him! Shoot out his tires. Yeah, I know you will. That's how this works. Shit! Suspension! <laughs> Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Oh, God. Okay, they're going on the roof. They're going... Are you for real? Is that... If you come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Right. Put the weapon down now. All right. You you just stand there and you wait. Uh-huh. What the hell? <laughs> what are you waiting for, Phelps? Up and at Do you realize who I am? I killed 20 people this morning. I'm going to kill 20 people now. Um, um... Gonna run out of bullets at some point. Idiot. Oh. Shot him in the back of the head. Like a professional. <laughs> it, uh, by that, I mean, I've done it a lot and I am getting paid, so. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code four, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Do you know what they should do? They should make it so that every time Phelps kills, it gets 1% more cold and bitter. And by the hundredth kill, you're just literally like, I did another one. Send an ambulance. <laughs> like, wow. Hold on. No, no, no. This is, this is ridiculous. Absolutely not. Rusty out. You're driving you drive. simply you because to case notes. I need to go over the case notes. Not that I can't be bothered to drive 17 miles. Nailed it. So we're going to the laundry service. We're going to ask some s serious questions. You know what? I've been thinking it's nighttime. It's just miserable. It's just a miserable English day. Uh huh. Let us look around first. God, it's loud in here. Very rumbly. I am pressing A on everything. Just. You never know what turns up. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. 
F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. Oh! You could point at it. You could tell me. You, you're going to make me do it, are you? Rude. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Oh, he's busy. Of course. He's policed in business. You wrote the number down on that dress, is up there? F. F. Don't fly with your perpetuity. Yes. It's. F1363. Cool. 1363. Everyone remember 1363. 1363. Mrs. Chip Chip this is T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. All right. We're going to her house. Terrelson, right? All right. Rusty, I have a job for you. You're behind the wheel. Finbar. Gonna go Emerald Where are we Street. The hobos can wait. If, we, if that's even close to being our subject, I want nothing to do with it until I've collected all the information I possibly can. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. What? Okay. Rusty Finbar, okay. Hey, we got people there. We got a boat. <laughs> well, first things first, boat. It, uh... It's got a light shining on it, and it's flickering, so that's obviously come hither and game dev talk. And he has rope. Is it triple braid? Uh, Looks like a match with the ligature marks. It's, uh, it's definitely... It's definitely it, then. And it's cut, so... Yes. What else we got going on? Can I go up? Can I go inside? Okay. We got a dog house, but no dog. What are you stashing in there? People. Now, shall I do what I usually do, which is uh, go through the back door and... It's just fish and stuff, dude. Not sure this means much. I don't I don't think fish. No. Nope. This isn't what we're looking for. No, I didn't think fish and stuff would have anything to do with it. She didn't have a hook in her mouth or anything. At least I didn't check. We'll go through the front door. Last time I went through the back door. Uh when I should have gone through the front door to realize it was locked to go through the back door. I broke the whole flow of the case. As I am one to do. Uh we got toys, so there are obviously children here. Look through the window. I can see nothing. Right. Okay. Not not. Oh, I can see kids through the other window over there. All right. Hello. Yes. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were uh, out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress. Open-toed white shoes. Those okay. are her favorite shoes. Yeah. Okay. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have it. some rather bad news. Yeah. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. Um... I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think this that... procedure. You see to your girls. Yeah, yeah, Rusty, just stick to your every husband is the killer thing. And now Stay he's... Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. Uh, Wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? 
I don't think Some so. bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Rusty, you're an asshole. Okay. Check if she was a regular. All right. Listen to their music. Okay, so there's a phone to ring. I don't, what, what, who am I calling? What am I calling about? Let's check the whole house first. Yes, the boat. Oh, it's just a look. Okay. <sighs> New Testament. Oh, don't stealth. Think this is anything. I don't. Stealth. It's lovely though. The Templetons. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Well, I mean, I'm going to look at everything. Artwork on the wall. This just seems like a very nice family house. And there's another match. Ah, that one. Flip it. I wonder why the picture was turned down. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay. Why was the picture turned down? And bag, you say? Why would she leave without I think it? This is going to help us. Yeah, but why would she live with it? Leave without it? I'm not saying that all women have one handbag. We all know that's not true. <laughs> is it? Is it? If you'd excuse me, ladies. Okay. Um, it doesn't appear to be connected. I mean. You gotta check everything, buddy. I'm um, miss. Ooh. Flip. So she went out without her handbag. Yeah, that's what I thought with the other one. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Oh, yeah. Okay. Handbag. Oh! Muddy, muddy boots. Uh, which means he was out in the rain. The impression of the crime scene. And he's a size 8. <laughs> Sir, you might well be screwed. Soaking wet shirt. Mars was out in the rain last night. Was he now? Hmm. Sir, you might be screwed. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. I think the music's done. I'm gonna use the telephone. Don't know why. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Okay. Thanks for your help. Is that it? No, there's still stuff to find. All right, people. Keep your eyes peeled. There's a there's a second thing. <laughs> so she's named she Teresa. Be in quite a state to leave this behind. Okay. Well, she did look very drunk. Welcome back, everybody. You you didn't you didn't miss much. Two two minutes of two hours. Two minutes of walking around looking for things. Turns out that I always thought every single handbag I've picked up, there's got to be multiple things in it. And for the first time ever, I didn't realize that when he puts his hand over the handbag, instead of just picking the one thing up, he went, Oh, I can move. Bugger it. Anyway, the music has stopped. That's what I was looking for. Right. About Teresa. For the record, Mr. Tarleton. What is your wife's name? Teresa. Fantastic. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. 
Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. I don't know. I don't. That's a, what's the what's the community? Really? Couldn't be anyone who knew her. Uh, okay. So you don't know anyone who would want her dead? No, I don't. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, we've got another one of those guys, have we? So hold on. At what point? At, at what? At what point? At what? At what point? Oh, good! It's gonna be another one of these bloody. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place. That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Mmm. Yeah. Down to Reno. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin and calls me. I go and bring her home. I'm still trying to go back to possible sub suspects. I don't, I don't, hold on. I don't understand how, just so doubt was never a factor because people voted truth and lie. Where was the lie? Just say it's, say it's not him. It's probably not him. Maybe, I don't know. It's, if it's not him, how the hell would he know if someone wanted to kill his wife or harm his wife? Anyway, moving on. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? No. Yeah, I think she was. No, the... Yeah, your eyes tell the story. The, the bloody photograph. The, the photo, right? The photo? Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go off dancing. Oh, God, he's angry. We only have the sitter until nine. Right. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. Wow. What time did she leave the party? Showing you colors, dude. About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. Still stuck on the top one. Oh god, why? I, I, I won't look. Ah, god, it kills me. I just wanted to do well. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8:30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. No. No, because of the the wet. I think he's lying. Look how good he is at lying! His face says nothing! I'm gonna I'm gonna do lie, because I've already fluffed this up with the first one. Cause the last time he told last time I thought he told the truth, he was telling a lie. So maybe his straight face is his lying face. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Oh yes, I am correct. So I could which do I pick though? The wet jacket? The wet jacket. Because that's the, that's the one that's wet. It went out in the rain. You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. Yeah. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. <laughs> Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you're giving to broads, you'll be giving into them your entire life. 
And sounds like the Terrelson broad had her last drink at Baron's bar. We should check the place out. Y yeah, I don't, don't, uh, sir, sir. You may have lied to me, and I don't appreciate that at all. Don't listen to Finbar. That's his name. Don't listen to Finbar about marriage. He's been divorced three times. It doesn't work. Appreciate your time, sir. Don't say that. He lied to you. I'm still... I'm... Hey, don't run me down! Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? I think people have got it out for me, sir. You should probably keep the voice this down. Guy story? No. And it rings true. Oh, well, camp will be later. Because we, we might be. Ah! We might be onto something with Hobo Camp. So let's go to Baron's Bar. How do I turn the radio off? I don't want to listen to copyright music. Ah! <laughs> oh, God! Don't worry about a thing, Finbar. Your boy, your boy, Officer Phelps, never steered you wrong. If anything, that's just to wake you up from your drunken stupor. Hello? Is this the place? Is this, is this it? I don't know where I'm going. I've never been here before in my life. Gosh darn it all. Ah, yes. We made it here in one piece, everybody. It's so bloody dark. It really does make me feel like I'm doing this at night. All right, buddy. Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. Oh. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, you know, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Mm -hmm. Benny Cloth. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. I haven't heard anything different. Um, am I supposed to? His face is fine. He said it like it was a thing. Okay. On foot, in a car, by bus, how was Flying! It? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. <gasps> Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Okay. Vagrant male suspect. Oh, the ho hoban, hoboman, the hobo man. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night. I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. Ah, he's moving around. I'm going to doubt you. <laughs> The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. Is that right? All right, two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. I can't believe I got that right. I was like, I don't have anything to, uh, for him to lie about. I don't have any evidence to suggest he's telling sh talking shit. But I, so I just went, give me more information. That one was lucky. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. Uh, I don't have. I don't. I don't have any. Uh. uh yeah. Yeah. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank I, you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it. it from here. Nailed hey, it. no problem. 
Nailed it. Right, polo this shirt. Bates. Oh, what a face. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. Uh, Can't let the son of a bitch get away. Why would we do this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Move, Rusty. God, you're in the, get after it. You're in the way. Come on, shoot the creep. gotta ride. Get in and drive. Not gonna shoot the creep. No, not gonna shoot the creep. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Come on, Whoop. Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. I might let the lush get away. I could have just skipped across the gardens. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, the stick was for you. Ah, where am I going? He's showing you how it's done. I'm fucking this up. No! <laughs> ah, wait for me. Sup? In the name of the law. Fucking pole! Everyone ignore that that happened. Everyone God just... God damn it, get after him, Cole. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best this time. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Okay, we got him. We, we got him this time. We, we... Hit it. Oh. Clean this asshole off the road. I went the complete wrong no. way. You gotta oh! Charge. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticking to routine. Shoot his tires out, then. Shoot his tires out. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. No, shoot his tires Keep out. Keep steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Shit. Let's end this part. All right. All right, you got me. I've had enough. It's gonna explode! Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out. Get out of the car. Is it gonna Put explode? Your hands in the air! I for sure. Okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. Wait, why run? I have a choice in this. Why did you run, you fucking moron? Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Yeah, I'm. You got. You got to give me more of that, buddy. Yeah, yeah, right? There's more? There's more. There's got to be more. Don't make me use my intuition point. I'm going to use it. Oh, he suck. Uh. Uh. All right, I'm gonna push him. I'm gonna push him. Just, I'm gonna push him. Do you want my partner to sap you? Oh Tell my us god! What we want to know. He's Seems got a stick. Okay. Drunk, pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. <laughs> Nailed it. Starting to get, starting to get the grips. Starting to get the grips with this. They're still tough though, because sometimes they say things and it's just like, that's the end of their statement. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't have anything that su to suggest that they're telling me the truth or lying. So, give me more. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor Boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Mmm, doubt. Doubt with the eyes! Doubt You've got time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Oh, Look, wow. I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. You nice ran over. private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Also, he ran over several people. Okay, the phone is on. Why is the phone on? Is... Wow, I actually did it exactly the same way. <laughs> How do I use this? Oh, I'm pressing Y for some reason. What's up, baby? Cole Phelps, batch 1247. 
detective. I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message uh. reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Seaman. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thank you. All right. Do I go to Central? Do I go to Central now? Do I go to Central now? Excuse me. I, I don't... Will you not hit my car? Thank you. You're very close. Uh, Central. I'm avoiding the hobo cam because I, maybe the guy's just there and he's just I'm trying to get as much information as possible. I don't. 11K, we have a response on your APB regarding yellow cab number 3591. The vehicle has been identified at a gas station. Now heading west on 7th Street. Garage on 7th Street. Let's hit it, Paul. Cab driver Mike Tyler's whole family. I hope you're right. Okay. Do I, I don't know which way to go. <laughs> um, all right. Let's get him! Nothing to say, Rusty? Rusty Finbar, you know anything to say about the man who does the sexual assaults? Absolute scum. I'm going there. I'm doing that. Where's that cab got you now? It'll be right in front of us soon enough. Excuse me. All units, officer, detail, 415 and shots fired, 313 Bunker Hill Avenue, 313 Bunker Hill Avenue, unit to handle code 3 identified. This is 11K. We'll handle the 415. Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't I'm let them boy? hurt you. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up. You shut the hell up. Uh, what the hell is going on? That's this is not the cab, the is it? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together. But they had a falling out. And they chased her across the yard with a 12 page. <laughs> now it's him or us. Uh, all right. Is she gonna get away so that uh, she doesn't see me shoot her? Get the bastard! Oh, down! Give yourself up! Now! Wine, look at him. You're a cop killer! Holy oh, shit! Holy shit! <laughs> I tried to tackle him, I thought. Well, maybe I can just, you know, uh, uh, gently take him down to the ground. No. There was no option to do that. He just butchered me. On the in the middle of his house, he just butchered me. Four fifteen and shots fired. Three one three Bunker Hill Avenue. Three one three Oh for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> it wouldn't let me it wouldn't let me do it. Yes. So where's this where's this taxi? Baron's bar. Uh yep. Oh, the taxi's there. Oh. So we were going straight there and I decided to take something on the side because I uh, thought it was the taxi. Get the bastard. Yeah. Alright! Officer down! Let him have it! Yeah. Go go to the door. Now go to the door. Can I get him through here? Nope. Can I? Go to the door! You're supposed to die for me! All right. Reinforcements Keep are on the way. Up. Cease and desist. Yeah. Trying to go is okay. the worst kind of scumbag. You're a cop killer! Go get that sweet son of a bitch. Oh, you! Oh. Ah. What have they done to you? Oh, could I have done that a little bit more passively? Like, subdue him? Payback! Payback for a past life! Screw you! <clears throat> it always makes, me, always makes me question whether I could have done things differently when they both stand there with sour faces. 
Possibly. We will I? No. Hey, there's such a thing as soap, you know. The driver can all, it, oh, because I'm, I'm chasing a taxi. All right. I was like, your partner cannot drive at this time? I was like, why? What is, broke his hand, shot in the arm? I got shot 30 times during the, the bank job. Don't see me complaining about it, Finbar. Crap. This place is very confusing. This is why I'll never live in cities. So everything's everywhere. And there's people everywhere. And buildings every and noise every fuck it. Live in live live in the country. Yes, that's how I feel. God, I'm so happy to be living in a small town. Move! 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 <laughs> Whoa there. I think I essentially killed a person and we're not talking about it, right? We're not We are not going to discuss that event. Am I getting closer? All I can expect is that I'm gonna open up the map and he's like 15 miles away. What? Whoop. Will you? No! You shut up! I asked you to drive, you didn't want to! Now I'm driving, and I'll drive however I want! Like this! How'd that feel? Thanks for your trouble. What do you mean, gentlemen? I'm here, right? I'm here. Where? Where is the? Where? Excuse me, but where the hell do I go? Is is it is it further down the road? And I just didn't. Is, do I have to select it as my current thing? I, I thought it was. No, it's already selected as my... Right. Just further down that road, I guess. Everyone relax. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Hello? I need... I need some form of... Oopsie, oh. Daisy. I'm sorry. All right? I'm patrolling the area to see if I need to get him to spawn somewhere. Maybe he's not literally in on that street. Maybe he's around this area. I don't have a clue. I'm almost at the point where I give up and just go to police central station. But I kind of would like to get this taxi, seeing as, you know, it's, it's a necessary part of the case. Is it bugged? That's also a thing. We could be here forever because I'm bugged. Still searching for the cab. Still searching for the cab. Are you here, Mr. Cab? Three five nine one. That's him there, Phelps. Hit the siren. I. <laughs> oh God! I think I know why I couldn't find him. Oh, man. <laughs> LAPD, we're investigating a What's murder. What's that got to do with me? The fairy you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It's a <gasps> green dress. Any century that the possible oh, tell me something's happened to her. Street 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 she was with the sheriff, and he was all over. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? It's at the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've All been right. a big help. Well, that's gonna ruin my day. The greatest bug in the history of video games. That, no wonder I couldn't find him. He was literally, he'd given up on life. Stood, he's out of his car. Get back in your car. I want to see you drive away. 
Oh, that was good. That was worth the frustration. Now, where do I go? Now, do I go to the police station? I think I go to the police station. This game has hit a slight um, performance issue, considering that I'm going to make Rusty drive. Uh, considering that... Um, you drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? We go to the police station. I just feel like when we go to the hobo thing, it's just going to be that he's there. Did I make it to the high drive? No! Get out of the bloody car! You're driving! You can drive. Thank you! Oh my god! The calamity is real! Yeah, I feel like when we go to the hobo area, it's just going to be like, we're going to pin it on the hobo because he's a hobo. That's how I feel like this game is now. We just discriminate because we're assholes. Okay, so I'm uh, James Jessup. Is that his name? He's in interview two. No, not in two! What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Parker or Green? Not interview two. This is my crypt tonight. You're the reason, brothers and sisters. Sit he down. is in sailor Detectives uniform. Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. Okay. Contact with the victim. He's 24 years old. Seems sympathetic. Could be talking out his ass. Let us find out. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Mm. Nope. Nope. There's more than that. Dap, 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 dap. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so he didn't tell me the whole truth. Oh yeah, Bates punched him in the face. I remember that. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. Yes, he is. You should take a look at him for this. Yeah, if you ha if you say half sentences, I don't have like, and your eyes shift around the room. I don't believe you. I don't have anything to say. You lie. So he's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night you before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. Mmm. Nailing it. What have I got? One wrong so far? Still don't understand. It doesn't matter. Where did you go after the Crystal Ballroom? Well, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab and I caught a bus back to the base. Son... This is not how this works. You're supposed to just tell the truth to me. You lack details. That's what I'm looking for now, right? So after we've done a lot of things wrong, if there's not like any details, it's just a vague statement, I'm supposed to ask for more. If they give me a detail and it's wrong, it's a lie. If they give me a detail and it's right, it's and they have a straight face, it's true. It's just incredibly difficult to pick up on in the early game because you have to learn it. So you're, d I, I'm doubting you. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. We got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An All-American, 249. I went past her place. She jumped off, and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. See? Details. Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. 
And that was the last you saw of Teresa. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. Uh. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. Oh, really, dude? Am I going to have to doubt every single thing that I say to you? Also, I thought your hat was a bun in a bowl. <laughs> so the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for. All broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened at the crystal ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. All doubts? Yeah, my CO said as much. All doubts? Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. All Got a doubts? Message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. So... What now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Investigate the bus depot? Well, we can investigate the bus depot and then go hobo. Is this, it, it turns out my theory is correct. It's just a hobo. Three suspects in the can and one on the hoof. And still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K. Yeah. 11K, come in. What? 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, we have Lars Carrollson picked up. 11K, Roger. Is he going to talk to a con game? Lars? Yeah, we've, we've actually found no evidence of anyone doing anything bad right now. It's just all people telling half-truths. Or lying. Mostly half-truths. Um, but now we're going to check the bus station, then we'll go to the hobo camp. Do we have to interview Lars now? This, this is starting to be quite a in-depth and, uh, thorough investigation. And I'm not doing too badly, but that one question that I got wrong, I'm upset. I'm upset. It's upset me. I actually just want to pin it all on Lars just because he lied to me and I didn't get it right. Uh-huh. Here we are. I love this music. It's it's jazzy. Cause, you know, because it's jazz. That's a walk you don't usually do, Phelps. What was that? Uh, bus? What was it? What, what was the bus? What? What bus? Uh, Cluez. Bus, bus, bus. Bus 249. All American 249. Can I see 249? 243. 431. 69. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm looking for the specific bus. It's probably out doing its thing, being a bus. I guess I'm just checking records for something. And um, thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. Hello. Where are you boys headed today? LAPD. We're after the driver of All American 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Frank Zeffirelli, he's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7-4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on, uh, I should have it mapped out here somewhere. 
Thank you. Wow, that looks like a fuse. Going to church doesn't make you a grudge, mister. Any more cracked. than staying in the oh, man. makes you a car. I need to run the loop. Did you read about the woman? Oh, are you fucking for real? The car? That's the cop who caught her. I need to run the loop. Are you, you mad? Five star goddamn wedding. <laughs> you wait. Five years from now, all uh, our oh, done by I need to run the loop, apparently. Something makes me want to go to the hobo place, I'm not gonna lie. You're a real asshole. You know that? <laughs> uh, okay, this so I need to go first street, loose. round to temple. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna drive the whole thing, are we? I don't want to. It won't take long. We have a siren. <laughs> we have a siren. That's the cop from the newspaper. It is the cop from the newspaper. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, video game. Look at the map. Look at the mini map. Oh, thank God. Get in the car, Finbar. I thought they were working seven four. Let's go get him. I thought for a brief moment they were going to make me read maps and follow uh, roads. This could be a long trip, or it could be a short one. And yeah. here's me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for company. Way to kick off the drive in high spirits, Rusty. Comments like that put me in just the right mood for some legwork. Touchy. You know what your problem is? You don't like hard work. This kind of rigorous search is what police work is all about. Discipline. Save it, Phelps. You're just as bored as I am. <laughs> right, everybody, move out of the way. I've got a very loud siren. I'm not afraid to use it. I will also run my car directly into your car without any fuss. Or maybe a couple of swear words. I might even arrest you. I might pin this entire murder on you if you get in my way. I don't give a fluff. I would like to find the actual murderer and get, you know, maybe a four-star rating. That makes me sad. <laughs> ah! See? Now I can add homicide onto my list. Because he's definitely dead. No seatbelts equals pain. This case has took all day as well. I mean, you would expect them to take longer, not gonna lie. But it, it's taken all day. No, nope, still no sign of him. No, but I'm following the route. Off, Rusty, I think you slept through my solving the case. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Just give me a nudge uh, to see him, all right? How about uh, you nudge me? I think that's a job for your wife. Oh. <laughs> They're having banter. Just keep going in Finbar, he loves it. I actually, you know what? The name is growing on me. It's a very unique name. I, I mock it because it's not normal. Um, plus, it's Rusty, right? He's called himself Rusty in order to sound gruff and have grit. You know? He's a hard man, the bad cop. His name's Finbar. That's hilarious. You know, I'm noticing a lack of buffs. Where is this damn? I love the reflections in the in the paintwork. I love it. Where's the boss? No! Not into me! Yeah, look at the reflections on the paintwork. Beautiful. I will say that I think this game, I think this is the remaster version. It's got to be, because it looks quite nice for something that came out in 2015. I'm guessing that day. It's it actually covers an area around the size of Central Division. The probability is we'll find it about halfway around. Bad luck says we'll be chasing it all night. <laughs> Even worse luck is that it maintains the same speed as us and we're constantly doing it forever. Like it's just flying around the bus route, kicking passengers off as it goes around. Is it, there's an achievement for going a certain speed. I will never hit that speed. Ah! Get out of the way! There's a madman on the loose! Officers are sworn to protect pedestrian citizens. Well, unless the chief deems it otherwise. If the chief turns around and goes, 
that guy there, I want you to pin all of this on him. I have to do that. That's the that's the thing. That's part of the game. It's starting to grate a little. You know, whatever happened to the joys of the regular search? Dog and police work, you know? They went out the window about two blocks ago. Yeah. Hey, this could be a Cole Phelps I'll grow to love. Don't count on it. Are we becoming friends? Do you know if I get all the way around this and the guys abandoned the bus route and escaped to Mexico? I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> A bus! A bus! A mother fluffing bus! That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. I did it. I nailed it. I, I, instead of being beside her, I just got in front of her and... Is some kind of problem, buddy? Yeah, we're gonna LAPD, fight. LAPD, we're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Well, that's Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. But yeah, for fuck, all right. Thank so Stanley Boy escaped by the seat of his bell-bottom trousers. He left the broad alive. Yes, he left did. Left her by the hobo camp, which means he's uh, as good as killed her. All right. We can't eliminate any of them, but the all disfigured right. man should be our starting point. I'm gonna call I for some backup. We both hate cops. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. So, I kind of left the hobos for like, because I thought something might be amiss. And here I am. Aren't they like a cult leader? Oh my God, we've got a shotgun. Because isn't the gaunt one the leader? Hold on, I want to check around first. LAPD, we'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Are you serious? Won't get us far. We need to hold out. How do we do that? Like this. <laughs> um. If you want your rightful share, we need to fight for it. Uh, These men know they're harboring a murderer. Uh, uh, hope you don't need help or something. Uh, uh, Staking your head. Okay. What's your name? What's with no investment? Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You, you can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Oh yeah, they said he was, um, said he was incredibly disfigured. I don't see that. I just see him as being dirty. Hey, well, newspaper. Here, Shh. Faucet, see what you find. Shh. I want to see what this uh, psychologist has been doing because he's been drugging folks. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. You must kill him, right? So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts. 
and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. God's sake, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Trying to get army bodies to fight the maf uh, the mafia that that ain't that ain't gonna that ain't gonna do. I was literally watching that because they talked about the war buddies. So what's been happening is I've been getting to the the rating screen at the end of a case, going forward like ten seconds and then all f fouring, thinking I'll come back and I'll be able to watch the war flashbacks we've been missing. That's why they've not been in the videos. That's why people keep asking me about them. Okay. Okay. Well. <clears throat> yeah. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. Yeah. I mean, that's... Why is he... A trophy? Why kill her? Weird. All right. What else? That's hers. So he mugged her? For... Crystal Ballroom? Doesn't look like much of a dancer. Interrogate Stuart Ackerman? I thought that was going to be a given anyway. And what's what's this? Is this him in the wah? Doesn't tell me anything. Doesn't tell me anything other than he was in the wall. Music just cut off? Is that all there is? Oh, okie dokie. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ignore the fact that uh Rusty just kinda blew a homeless guy away. I'm glad I said the word away. People are crying? Yes, because Rusty probably shot the one remaining, like, married hobo. That's that cop. Uh, Seems like a decent guy. <laughs> I just shot all of your friends. Um, anything around here? I, I actually don't know if there's anything. Can I, I can go into places and I can do things. I think I can leave. I'm not gonna lie, I'm running around this camp going, is there anything more? But there's not, obviously. Obviously. Where do I go? How do I? Okay. All right. I put myself in a... A corner. A cul-de-sac. Uh, that's you disgusting. Problem, huh? Didn't you ever hear from? Later. Harmonica, yeah. You know the way. You can drive. Okay, back to Bye. Central Police Station. I think this has got to be it, right? We're, we're an hour and a half into recording. I've got got to cut some uh, aimlessness about. I think the 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 family home and searching for the cab. The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Yeah. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? Have yeah, the well, evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession. We can charge the bum with murder. The rope has blood on it. The rope attached to the boat at his home was cut. Was that the same rope? 
Should I investigated the rope further? Should I have looked at the bottom of the rope? I want to make it. We're going this way. You know you made it. I know where we're going. Interview room two. Interview room two. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Interview room one. Is it one? Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. Really? What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? So he has burns. Okay, no, it's not really obvious. Unless I'm not looking at the side of his head that has been burnt. Motive for murder. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. <laughs> really? Do they have rope? Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? Have rope. I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. It was next to your bed, you stupid piece of penis. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match, too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? Oh, you are one of them. No. <clears throat> I mean, he's obviously deranged, right? Lost your mind? Big cray-cray? Lubba cray-cray? A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. Man. Well, I don't have any evidence to say they took her up to the hill. And you're not telling the truth, so... You are clearly insane, Ackerman. Yep. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. What? Their necks are so fragile. What? <laughs> in the bin? Get in the bin. I will set the bin on fire while you're in it, but get in it. Where were you around 2 a.m. last night? At the camp. Obviously not. You were strangling a lady. You were up on the hill. You were seen during the day. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. You have nothing that links me to this woman. Do I have anything that links him to this woman? Puss! Because <laughs> it had TT written on you. TT. We have you cold, Ackerman. Her purse and the ballroom ticket were in your lean to. Tell us why you did it. I kill because people need killing. It's what I was trained to do. <laughs> Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. Bin. In the bin. Fire bin. Bin fire. Are they in the bus? Is Lars in the same cell? We should let Lars kill him. A man down on his luck I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. He's starting to feel very mafia boss-like. Oh, that one! Oh, that one question! Oh, my first four-star. An early visit to the hobo camp might have offered a lead, but good luck finding a coherent witness. Okay, so I could have found some evidence earlier. Well, I thought going to the hobo camp would have just been like... Like in other cases, we found really hard evidence on things. I don't know. I just felt like 
we would have gone to the hobo camp and we'd have kind of just, the mystery would have gone. I don't know. It's a good idea to go last, obviously. But I didn't expect it to go down the way that it did. I ended up going in there, Rusty blows someone's face off, and uh, that was that. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Four stars, I'll take it. One question wrong, still don't get why I got that wrong, but it doesn't matter. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I will see you next time. Bye.